What's up, everybody? I am Adam Richmond from ITV's Barbecue Champ, Man Finds Food, Man Versus Food, and this is the second half of my top five favorite Tottenham Hotspur players of all time. So number two, well, that would have to go in with what someone told me was, this guy was what God thought of when he created the footballer. Tall, yes. Unnecessarily short shorts, without question. Could he rock a mullet and sing with his team about diamond lights? You're goddamn right. And that man is Glenn Hoddle. Now, what I loved about him was that there was grace, but there was that element of strength. He somehow could anticipate where the ball needed to be, and he could honestly, he knew each player's strengths. So obviously, we always talk about that beautiful one-two he plays with Ozzy Ardiles as he comes up that right touch line. But that's sort of the beautiful thing about Glenn Hoddle. He understood he could make an impact with the ball at his feet or without it, just by where he was, understanding his team, and understanding how he could really create something as a leader of a team and not just as a world-class footballer in his own right. And I think that's the kind of beautiful thing about what Danny Blanche Flowers said that it is better to fail aiming high than to succeed aiming low. And that's truly what you saw in every single performance. Life or death, he was out there giving everything he could, applying every skill he could. He was exciting and he won games. We could use that some more. So number two, Glenn Hoddle. Diamond lights, diamonds, I love you. The, the mullet was a bad idea, Waddle too. My number one Tottenham Hotspur FC player of all time is not only one of my favorite players full stop, but he also is one of the biggest reasons I am a Tottenham Hotspur fan. Now he came from Southampton, he's Welsh, you already know who I'm talking about, and he actually roomed with another super duper fast winger, and that would be the flying Welshman Gareth Bale. One of the first games I ever watched was to see this guy beating Inter Milan, almost by himself, seeing a phenomenon just sort of emerging. Um, physical, almost like a rugby player, you know, can bring in these beautiful curling crosses, almost like some of these great Brazilian players. And then you look at these beautiful knuckled shots he had against West Ham, and there is just a warrior spirit in him. He wants to win. Um, that left foot, I'm sure Sotheby's could insure it for, I don't know, couple million but also I have to say that you really understand that he loves the game and he really does appreciate it it broke my heart when he left I even told him I told him paella was overrated and I begged him not to go but whether or not he's wearing his man hairband and hanging out with Luca who we also miss and Ronaldo who's kind of a dick I still am always gonna love him and I'm always gonna think of him wearing autonomy across his midsection and beating the holy hell out of Inter and dragging my con sorry ass up and down the touchline. My number one favorite Tottenham Hotspur FC player of all time would be Gareth Bale. That was my top five favorite Tottenham Hotspur players of all time. And log on to Spurred On for more great Tottenham Hotspur content. Come on, you Spurred.